want it to go right now. So I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, customer payment. And for, for Jasmine, I'll say, okay. And then I'm going to, we could, if you do not have that option, once again, you could use a um, Word document to clip. And that is, is an option available for something like this, which uh, you may not have the printing capability. So if we open this up and we go to the insert and we go to screenshot, we could then take a clipping of the screen and that could work as well. I'm going to save that and close this. So then I'm going to close this and go back to the instructions here. All right, so then you're gonna go ahead and pause and read through this. We're gonna skip back to the activity in the gray area. Next objective is to modify the summary balance sheet report. So then we're gonna click the customer, uh, uh, customize report button and the report bar. And then we're gonna to go to the uh, summary balance sheet should still be open. And then number two, display, uh, click display tab if not already active, then leave the from date at 10-1 and then change the to date to 11:30. Change the display columns by the setting to month. Check the percent of column checkbox as shown in figure two. So here's the figure that we are going to be on. We are now on the summary balance sheet. Hopefully that's the one we are <laughs> adjusting here. So we're going to go back to the uh, customize report. We got these tabs up top. And then we are going to click the customize report, click the display tab if it's not already active. So we're going to go to the display tab here. It's already active. So that is good. And then uh, leave, then leave the from date to as 10 one and then change the to date to 1130. So 10 one is here. I'm going to type 1130 fastest way to do this 113014. And then I hit tab. Don't need to hit the dashes or anything. That's a little bit quicker to input in that way. And then change the columns to uh, setting by month. So we're going to change the columns here to total to by month. So that's going to show us a, a total of each month in this case. And then we want a percent of column checkbox. All right, so we got the percent of column. is over here percent of column checkbox and then click the fonts and number tab shown in figure 28 so then we're going to go to the fonts and numbers tab that's going to be over here fonts and numbers and number four says click the divide by 1000 and without sense checkboxes under under the show all numbers section so we want to divide by a thousand and we want to get rid of the pennies without sense. This report has no sense. All right. And then uh, duh, 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 all number sections. Duh, duh. So then we're going to go down to page 34 and we have figure uh, two nine, which shows those items there. We just checked off. Number five says click the header footer tab. Number six says click the inside report title edit box. Change the name of the report from summary balance sheet to comparative balance sheet. So we're going to change it to comparative balance sheet. So I'm going to go to the header and footer tab, summary balance sheet to comparative balance sheet. Back to the book, comparative balance sheet, and there we have that. They also want to remove date prepared, time prepared, and report basis, it looks like, because they always do that. So date prepared, time, and report basis have been removed. Then we're going to scroll down. It says change the alignment uh, by clicking the down arrow to the page, uh, page layout section and clicking left. So we have the uh, page layout, and we want to make it the left. So we're going to left align it in that way. Okay, this changes the alignment of the title text that it did. All right, so the number eight on page 35 then says click OK to close the modified report windows. And hopefully it'll, it'll look like this after we do that. So I'm going to click OK, and then it kind of looks like this. We're going to want to compare that to the book and say, does that look like what it's supposed to do? 
and apparently it looks dead mine's totally correct so we got that see what else we have here and then we're gonna uh, skip the uh, or you'll read through this area I'm gonna skip to the next gray area on page 60 uh, 36 which says to memorize the comparative balance sheet just prepared so number one activate the report sender window if you close it open it again click the memorize tab at the top of the report center and then click edit memorize report so we're going to go back up here the report center is open over here we can click there or and or we can click up here now we're not going to go on the standard tab this time which is usually where we would go we're going to go to the memorize reports button up here so these are going to be our custom reports that we will then memorize memorize report and then click the edit lists so that's this little pencil right here so we're going to click the edit uh, memorize list there these are our memorized reports click the memorize report button at the bottom of the memorize report list window and then click new group so we're going to go over here we're going to uh, have this button at the bottom so it's a drop up button in this case we're going to take that and we're going to go to new group new group and that group then will be type your name in the new group and then click OK. So we're going to put our name here. So you put your name, not my name. And I'll put my name and not your name. And then we're going to say OK. And notice it groups it in terms of alphabetical order. So mine's in the B, B area. So yours may be somewhere other than the B area. And then we're going to click on number five. It says go to the, uh, the summary balance sheet still open a QuickBooks account by clicking its name from the open list window. And then number six says click memorize. So now we're going to go back to the report that we were working on, which is the summary balance sheet that should still be open in the open window over here. It's not. Uh... So remember, it's this one. This one is the one we are looking at. And we're going to go ahead and memorize that report. So then click memorize button and change the save memorize report group checkbox and select the name of the drop down. Click OK. Memorize the report act, uh, acting the default report title. Click Memorize Report List, uh, view the Memorize Report List window, which would look similar to the one shown below. All right, so we're going to go here, and we're going to go up. Now that we have this report open, we know where it want, we want to put it into our name. We're going to go to the Memorize tab up top to memorize this report. I'm going to drag this window over here so that we can then see it. I'm going to keep the default name, save in a re Memorize Report group. We want that. I'm going to check that off going to select the drop down we're going to find where we want it my name in this case your name in your case then we'll say okay in this case it takes a little camera shot of it you'll hear a little camera clicking and then we should have that you can read through this I'm going to skip down to the next gray area where it says to print the comparative balance sheet report now uh, we're, I'm going to show you the print area we are, of course will then save it to an Excel sheet and or PDF file so we're going to click the print tab on the report button bar to uh, click the preview in the report dialog box to preview the report three click the zoom in button to see what the report will look like when printed so we can then go here we can go to the print we could go to the print button up here print report and then we have this preview tab which for people that have used older versions of microsoft uh, kind of the way Microsoft used to be so then we have this report here and we can we can zoom in and see what this report would then look like what you want to be careful of when you make these reports is that if one of the columns of course is on another page then that's a problem that's not going to be formatted well so you want to fix that if that is the case by adjusting the format of the report So then uh, click print and close window. So we're not actually gonna print it. I'm gonna go ahead and close the window. What we will do though, however, is we will save it to an Excel sheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the Excel and I'm gonna go to create new worksheet, but we are gonna put it to the same workbook. So we gotta change that to the existing workbook, which will allow us to see the browse window. Now that we have saved it in there before, it's going to the right one, which is in week two in this dropdown. This is the one we want. So I'm gonna double click on that. It's already going there. I'm gonna export that should open Excel should create a new tab with this information in that tab so here's Excel here's the new tab I'm gonna make this large there's the information in that tab I'm gonna go ahead and select the page layout area I'm gonna go OK with that pop-up gonna then come back over here to the normal view 
I see the split screens, which I want to get rid of. I'm going to go to the View tab at the top in order to do so. In the Windows group, we're going to go to the Split button, Unsplitting that screen. Then I want to put name the tab, so I'm going to go back over to this view so I can see the header. Double click on it, and I'm going to abbreviate it, Comparative Balance Sheet. And I'll just leave it like that. I'm going to go back to the normal view. We may want to put this at the end by clicking on the tab and dragging it to the end. So there we have that. We can then close this up, save it, make sure we save it. And then uh, if you do not have that option, you could file and save as a PDF file. And it's going right where we want to go once again. And we would change the name. I'm going to keep the PDF there just to make sure it doesn't change the file type. And this, and this one I can type out the whole name. Active balance sheet because we have plenty of room. The date is usually a good idea to put in to a report such as this and save it. I should have put October and November, but we'll save it there. All right. Then you're going to read through this area. We're going to skip to the next, and that is the end of chapter two.